Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel and whatever platform you're listening to this on. I just want to say I really appreciate it. And if you are listening to this and you have not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're on YouTube while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place and let's get into this podversation slash reality chat. All right, guys, uh, this... (laughs) <laughs> love and marriage Huntsville I don't know if this is season four five six I don't know I've gotten out of the loop with the numbers because I've seen different things across the board but the newest season just aired and I watched it on demand recently it came on on Saturday night on the own network and I just wanted to talk about a few things because Martel Holt the narcissist that will never change. He has just proven so many things that I already knew about him that most people can see right through. But for the people who get caught up in the physique, the physical, the muscles, the, you know, the the body, the build, the tight suits and all that other bull crap, you can see right through the exterior. And he just has proven that he is nothing but superficial, okay? On this most recent episode, the newest episode of the season, it it just showcases a lot of things about him. And I hate to say it, but it's just the truth about his mother that I already felt. Okay, one, if you watched last season and you saw on the last season where Melody was at her home and she got an on-site massage service done by a professional massage therapist. On this newest season, Martell follows suit by is having an esthetician, which ironically I am. I'm a licensed esthetician. So I, I mean, listen, business is business, but Even with me, I've turned down clients and doing services and business with people before. And I would say that he's probably one person that I would say without a doubt that I would not serve. And people could say, oh, well, you know, what's the reason? In my business, you you know, we have the right to turn down people for any reason that we feel. And just someone like him, he wouldn't be worth it for me for the money or for the followers possibly that I could get if he were to tag me on social media to say that I performed a facial service on him or whatever skincare service professionally I just don't need it okay and I can stomach someone like him he was talking about how he just loves to be touched he been he's been seeing recently bags under his eyes and and he's been feeling the need to freshen himself up a bit so he decided to have a facial done and It's like, okay, you can see bags under your eyes, but you can't see the darkness that emits from your soul and comes out of your mouth to do the things that you have done and say the things that you have said. You know, it was recently, a few weeks ago, it came out that he allegedly was arrested and was released. He came out immediately to dispute that, but I actually saw a video on someone else's channel. I started to do some commentary about it, but I've just been really busy and haven't had a time, had the time to get around to doing it. But allegedly, he actually was arrested, allegedly, but because of the way things happened, he wasn't charged and he didn't get, you know, taken to another facility. It was one of those things where he was taken in, but was released. So he's using that to say that he actually wasn't arrested, allegedly. So I just, you know, have to say for this man who was unfaithful to his wife for many, many years, and people could say what they want to say about his wife taking it or accepting it or whatever. That's n- that's not for me to say. I'm not a melometer. The people who call themselves melometers are like diehard fans. I'm not a diehard fan of anybody. I could respect you. I could, you know, not agree with you. Like, I don't worship or praise anybody, but I could admire and I could respect people for things that they have done and, you know, different things like that. But 
say what you want to say about her. What he did was wrong. He was running around on his wife. He had a child while he was married to his wife. And she said, you know, enough is enough. And some people may say, well, she waited until she got on TV to do it. So what? A lot of people wait until they're in a state that they feel that they're more comfortable in in order to make a change in their life that is going to be like night and day and they have to feel that they're going to be protected, they're going to be covered, they're going to be okay. So I don't fault her for that at all. I never would. But he's currently trying to seek full custody of his kids with his ex-wife, Melody. And that's dirty because she clearly is the one that is more capable of taking care of their children as well as more financially stable, okay? And he just uses this show to showcase the exterior. If you watch the opening credits, he's in a suit and he's doing a little thing where he's, you know, not kneeling down, but you know, he's like dropping it low and doing these things. Like it, It's like, you are a fraud. You're, there's nothing sincere about him at all. But for the chicks, like people call them pick me's that are just so swoon by the exterior and they feel that he has sex appeal or he is, you know, attractive, whatever. He's not my type, but I, you know, and for me, it's not just about the physicality of a person. There has to be some substance there and he has absolutely no substance. All right. But he's going through these methods of trying to take care of his exterior, but also pretty much copying his ex-wife because he's done this before. It's been noted before how he's done things where she did something first and then he followed suit. You know, she did this African themed photo shoot with her children and then he followed suit by doing this, <laughs> this similar thing and also including the child that he had with this other chick outside of the marriage while he was married in that same photo shoot. So it was also like a big F you to Melody as well. So I felt like that was a copying moment and also a disrespectful moment. Okay. That's just one instance. He's been trying his best to follow in Melody's footsteps by creating products because we know she's created products. And then he created this wine and then he tried to play on the sympathies of women to act like he was sympathetic and he was sorrowful and he you know, realize that he made some mistakes and he misses his marriage. All of that was just some bull crap that he was spewing to get people to feel that he had made some turns in his life and he realized the error of his ways and there's nothing he can do about it at this point in terms of getting the marriage back because she's the one that filed for divorce and said she wanted out, but he really did want the marriage. He really wanted his family. But yet he was just saying those things because he wanted to play on the heartstrings of people to get them to spend their money with him because he was creating a product that was going to more so be marketed towards women. Let's just be honest. He named the product after his grandmother. He, it's a, I feel, I don't believe, this is my opinion, I don't believe that he was doing that for the sake of wanting to dedicate something to his dearly departed grandmother, but I feel that he was doing it to play on the heartstrings of women. Hmm. What could I come up with and what could I do to make this attractive to women? Because marketing is all for the most part about emotions, emotional marketing. You can't just say, okay, I have a product. This is it. Go and buy it. People have to feel like they know you in some way, like you and trust you. It's just a different ball game these days when it comes to people who create products and who have a brand, you know? So the brand has to be marketable and in order for it to be marketable, it has to be able to play on the emotions of people. And because his market is going to be primarily women, that's what he was doing, okay? Because if you see his Instagram, I don't follow him, but I peeped in from, you know, time to time just to see what was going on. And when he does these pictures where he's posing with the bottle of wine, you know, he's wearing the tight suits and the tight shirts and whatever, you know, you're, you're either marketing to women or gay men because no straight men are going to be attracted to that period. So we already know what it is. And so, so we see from this newest season that nothing has changed about him. He's superficial. It's all about the exterior 
He claims that he's getting counseling and doing therapy. But as you can see, Dr. Francis, who I feel they should have him as a regular therapist on the show. I feel that the man and his wife are extremely knowledgeable. He doesn't play around. He he calls whoever, not just the men, but the women, out on their BS and does not allow them to skirt, you know, and skate by because they are who they feel that they are on the show. But he is not seeking therapy with Dr. Francis anymore. Now he's got a female. <laughs> Big surprise. All right. So far, we haven't seen any therapy sessions that he's done with this woman, but we saw a clip of him sitting in this woman's office and he's getting therapy with a woman. Okay. And then there's a scene where he's getting the skincare service done with this esthetician and his mom walks in. I feel that he lives with his mom. I could be wrong, but I feel like the house that he's in, that's his mom's house. And I feel that he's living with his mom, whatever. But she comes in and he's speaking with his mom and telling his mom about how he's getting therapy, you know, trying to be a better person. And then she's, she says something along the lines of, you know, why do you need to change? You're, you know, there's nothing bad about you. Girl, you are one of the reasons why this man is who he is and he will never change. They say it's never too late, but for some people, because of who they are, it kind of is. They just kind of are who they are and they're settled and set in their ways. And because of how he was molded and shaped, he's not going to change. Okay. So that's definitely something that we see about him that it's just a superficial thing. The therapy, you know, you're doing it for the, for the cameras and also to probably try to showcase to the courts because he's trying to get full custody of the four children so that he can get child support, <laughs> in my opinion, so that he can show to the courts that he is trying to do what he can to be a stand-up father and man and be a better person every single day for the sake of himself and his children. It's bull. It's bull, okay? And then... When you continue to see this and you see how his mom is just pretty much enabling him to be the jerk off that he has been, it's clear to me that nothing is going to change about him. And then finally, it to me is confirmed that this so-called relationship that he has with Sheree, it's all about publicity. It's all for the show. It's all for money. Because look, him being a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, we know that they don't pay the husbands to be a part of the show, but most of the time, the spouses or the women, they will give their man a cut of the money. That was revealed, actually something that Cynthia revealed, I believe, when she was married to Peter, okay? So it's clear to me that this is just for the sake of television because he does a FaceTime call with Sheree. She's acting like a giddy little girl. And um, I believe she was in Portugal, cash trip at the time. And Sonia Richards Ross, she's also on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was in the background and she popped her head in to say hello. And I'm like, girl, you are married to an amazing man from what we can see. I wouldn't even say hello to Martel. I don't care if Sheree was my friend. I would want more from my friend and nothing has changed about Martel. Okay. But if this is just a relationship for the cameras and for the money and for the PR and the publicity, then okay. Act <laughs> and scene. Okay. So it's just to me a, a load of crap when it comes to Martel and Sheree being in this so-called relationship, because you, if you saw clips of this season, you saw that Sheree is going to be in at least one or two episodes because the way that they do it, they like to leave an episode with a cliffhanger and then they bring it back to the next episode to follow up of what they, you know, left off on the last episode. So I believe Sheree will be in at least one or two episodes, but they popped her head in there on FaceTime on the first um, episode. And, you know, Martel, he was there at the time getting this skincare service done. So we already know that that was planned. That was not random. <laughs> okay. That was planned. All of it. 
him getting the skincare service at the house, the mom popping in at the time that she popped in, and Sheree calling him on FaceTime from Portugal. Get up out of here. It's just for the cameras, okay? He, he just wants to s- sort of prove something to Melody that, because we know that he still wants his ex-wife and wanted that marriage, but he wanted to be single and married, which is something that a number of men want to do. They want to live the single life, but they also want their wife, they want their wife to be home, doing the wifely duties, doing the things that they're supposed to be doing, because that's the type of mindset that they have, that they feel that if they have a wife, these are your wifely duties. They want that, but they also want to be able to run the streets and be quote unquote single and do what they feel like doing when they feel like doing it. And that crap is just not going to fly, okay? So it's the fact that Melody said, I'm done, sign the papers, (laughs) like she said, in that infamous scene several seasons ago. And I loved it. And that's one of my favorite scenes. He wants to prove to her that I don't need you. I don't want you. I was the best thing that ever happened to you. And now I'm moving up and you're just a social climber. It doesn't look like you've come up for some people like Marceau, who his integrity is questionable as well. He sees it as a come up, but to most people who have some sense of intelligence, they don't see it as a come up. They see it as him being a social climber and an opportunist. And we already know that Sheree is not a come up. She may be more known. She may have been on the Real Housewives of Atlanta back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she has the chateau that most people, even Candy, was trying to figure out how she paid for it and how she got the basement finished, okay? (laughs) But she does not make the best decisions. She doesn't like to pay people. Martel doesn't have much money. You know, they have some things in common, She doesn't make the best decisions when it comes to the relationships and the men that she has been involved with. Martel doesn't make the best decisions when it comes to women and how he had a jewel that he married and at home and in his life and how he chose to drop the jewel for some trash, you know? So there's nothing that anyone envies about the relationship. And I'm quite sure that Melody sees it as a joke. I'm quite sure she giggles and laughs at it. She really has no reason to feel envious or jealous to see that Martel is moving on. And I don't blame her for not showcasing, if she is seeing someone right now, showcasing that on the show and allowing it to be held up for public scrutiny as well as for her deranged ex-husband to try to get in the middle of because the man is reckless and, in my opinion, somewhat dangerous, okay? Because... Anyone that would just be continuously sleeping around on your wife, you are culpable of bringing sexually transmitted infections and diseases to your household and you claim that you love your children. The mother of your children, their children love their mom too. So if you don't love their mom and respect their mom, Do you really love those children? It may be surface level, but it definitely isn't that sacrificial love, which is what you really should be having. Not just the, oh, these are my kids and I love them, but I got to do what I got to do for myself because I need to feel good. And that's all he really cares about is feeling good and looking good. But when it comes to the interior, when it comes to the spirit and the soul, he is dark. He's dark. So guys, I just really wanted to talk about that. You can let me know your thoughts about all of that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for liking this commentary and subscribing to the platforms. This is Beth and I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.